This is a video about the best place in the world to play Ark Survival Evolved. This is a video about the Geeks Network. It's a network now, guys. If you've been watching my channel over the course of the last year, you are familiar with the Geeks. You are familiar with this community, and you are familiar with the fact that it is filled with my Patreon supporters. Not just mine, but those of my friend Arali the Geek. When he and I started this thing a year ago, we created one server, a place for our combined seven patrons to join us to play. And over the last year, it has blossomed, it has snowballed, and there are a couple hundred people supporting the two of us on Patreon, and lots and lots of them play here in our network of servers, of which there are now seven for ARC. Just for ARC, there's another one for Islands as well. Um, and we're using these servers to bring together geeks, to bring together like-minded people, the people who are united by watching our two channels. They are universally... Not universally, but they are almost universally nice people. They are sweethearts, they are kind, they are generous, and they are creative. They are inspiring builders, and they are transforming the world that we have created for them in amazing ways. And over the last year, yeah, you've seen lots of content from the Geek server, but you haven't seen a real series. You haven't seen me commit to an Ark Survival Evolved series set strictly on the Patreon servers and make that my main series. I've been holding off. I've been making excuses to not do it. And that time is over. I've been terrified that if I dive back into ARC and I try and do something amazing that I will fail. That I won't be able to get back to the, the heights I have been back to in the past. That I won't be able to build the amazing things or attract as big an audience and that is an unfounded fear. The most important thing to me in the world right now is my ability to bake videos as my job and my Patreon supporters have made that possible. So just shut up and start making some damn videos from these servers, alright UTC? Alright guys, as we sail, in today's video you're going to see footage from the island, from Aberration, from Ragnarok, from Scorched Earth. How are all these things possible? Well these four servers are clustered together, which means you can bring your Aberration glider suit here to the island. And for me, guys, uh, we're going to have projects on all four places. Off to my left, my ancestral home, Crags Island. Off to my right, the Cascade Falls Community Center. And uh, in episode one, coming up later today, we are going to be visiting community centers on every single server, guys. I told you there were four of them. First is the island, and here we have a small personal residence to build. Uh, next on the list is Arc Aberration. Now, obviously, the wingsuit is natural to Aberration, but it's still fun here. Now, this is the spot I have the most established base. Fading away behind me is my American-style farm, farmhouse, and a couple of barns. I have been here and built, and this is actually my most recent Arc series, guys. Uh, this was me attempting to dive headfirst into the Geek servers, but they hadn't been properly clustered yet, so I had to choose do aberration here and 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 just stick to aberration now i can take this character this goofy white-haired eye patch character and i can transfer him between servers and between maps and for us uh in the first video guys we're going to spend time looking at community centers like the one you were about to see the fertile lake community center because i am thinking of building a community center of my own among other building projects I have built this community in part with a rally and, and largely just the people building it on their own, becoming friends with each other and doing amazing things together. What you are watching now is something that I have wanted to do for a very long time and I now have the freedom to do. The ability to take my rock drake and take him to another map, to soar with a rock drake above the deserts, the mountains, the redwoods, the snow, the canyons of the Ragnarok map. Or, as you will see towards the end of this video, to take this rock drake to Scorched Earth, a place I haven't been in a long time, and to look for a place where we may just build a community center of our own. But don't get, don't get ahead of yourself, guys. Ragnarok is not a spot where we have done anything. I don't have a base here. And uh, in episode one, we take a little time checking out some potential base locations, and uh, we sail across this amazing map. Like I said, snow, redwoods, canyons, it's beautiful, guys. Fill the comments with your ideas, guys. Four maps to play on, an unlimited number of building projects. And we don't just have to build, we can go on adventures. Epic exploration adventures with these geeks. Whatever it is, you will get it all. I owe you the best ARC series I have ever done. I owe you my masterpiece. Whether I'm capable of it, I have no idea. But this series, for me, is about Patreon. 
And that is why for the first time ever, I am largely demonetizing my own videos. I am taking the crappy YouTube ads off, and instead in this series, I'm gonna be asking you occasionally to think about supporting me and what I do. So become a geek. Join for a buck a month and get early access to all my videos or take the next tier up and become a player. Join us as a geek here in our world. There is only one place you need to go.